What is that? What is that dot? That wasn't... That was... As soon as I hit record, I get a dot on my eye. This is very weird. Just wanted to point that out there before we get into the video. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. It's another graphic design video with me, Elliot, your uh, your guy, your favorite guy um, here on here on YouTube. Um, thank you so much for, for clicking. Thank you so much for clicking. This video is just for you. OK, no one else. Just for you today. One, one of you. OK, so yeah, pretty cool. Happy, happy day to you. I wasn't going to film a video today, actually. I'm very tired. I didn't have much sleep because I woke up uh, at 3 a.m. with hives, which is something that I don't get. Uh, so that was very confusing. And now the dot on the eye is here. So I don't really know what's going on with Elliot today, but uh, I wanted to film a funny little video for you. So um, we're going to film a video and I'm going to try and be as, you know, as good. If I'm going to be good. Just I'm going to be good today. Uh, it's going to be a good one. Uh, so uh, this video is going to be a little bit silly, a little bit silly. Um, I thought, why not make a video uh, where I make designs inspired by my liked TikToks? <laughs> it's a very silly idea, I know, but I thought it would be, I thought in a good way. I think it's very silly in a good way. Uh, and I think it will get, you know, my young audience engaged uh, with the short form media form that is TikTok. Uh, and, uh, and and use it to enhance a long form video uh, that is YouTube, that is the video I'm filming today. So I think it's a, a very good blend. I think the uh, there's a lot of crossover between YouTube and TikTok and uh, this will unlock that, unlock that. We're gonna unlock that today. Now the issue here, of course, is that uh, TikTok, obviously, there's a lot of music, okay? A lot of music and some of the funnier ones that I've got uh, have a lot of music behind it. Um, and I, so, so we won't be able to play those. We've got to play some very, very just like some interesting ones, I guess. Um, and please do not judge. Like showing like TikToks is so exposing and I feel so vulnerable doing this. So please just like, please do not judge me for the like TikToks. Uh, I'm going to try and play it safe and just, I don't know, show like some funny cat videos maybe because I genuinely enjoyed those a lot and I think they're pretty universal. Uh, so, but you know, just don't judge me for what I in enjoy on TikTok. It's private for a reason. Okay. Everyone has a different sense of humor and mine involves a lot of cat, uh, a lot of silly cats and, and dogs. And I like, I like animals doing silly things. Sue me. Okay. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. Can we hit a hundred thousand subscribers tomorrow? Maybe one day. So I'm going to do, uh, the, the plan is three designs based off three TikToks of different, uh, genres, I guess. Uh, and then I'm going to make a little business card kind of design for each of them, which I think is pretty cute. Just like I did for the Animal Crossing video, if you saw that. I enjoy making those and I think they're nice and easy to do. So we're going to do that. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so here's the first TikTok I'm going to be designing uh, today. Uh, everyone, this is a video uh, by from Jakey Boy. Uh, this is a video of uh, a cat, uh, a cat that is standing next to a chopping board of onions being cut, chopped. Uh, and I think it is very funny. Have a look at this. <laughs> Lily, are your eyes okay? It's a very funny video. Uh, I love that video so much of that cat, um, of that cat uh, reacting just like a human would to onions being chopped. It's, it really shows how um, how everyone's everyone I guess has that ex a universal experience to onions um, being chopped. Uh, so I think that's a really funny video. I really enjoy that video. Uh, so I'm thinking for the design, we could potentially uh, take the cat's face uh, of like the, the, the squinty eyes, the, the, the onion reaction, and then having like onion, like the word onion or something on the, over, over it. I think we can do something cool with the cat. Uh, so that's my initial ideas. And that is where we are going for this first design. So I'm first going to do a little bit of uh, editing on the, the photo itself. I think it's quite a funny uh, little screen grab that we've got here of this little cat. Um, it, I love how it looks at the the, own, the owner as well, you know, that just that look of like, 
you know, do you feel my pain? It's, it's such a funny little video. I really think that video is so funny. Um, so I think for this one, I want to do a, a classic little technique is if we just add a little bit of a noise to this, maybe like 7% noise or something like that. Uh, and then we do a little threshold. We can usually get a pretty cool looking graphic, right? That we can do a lot of stuff with later on. Um, it still very much keeps the details of like what we had, like the face is still there, but like what it does to the whiskers and stuff and like the little reflection on the eye. I think this is really quite cool. I love the little bit of a stroke that we've got going around there too. I might actually, I think that's just from the, the screenshot that I did then that it gave it a little bit of a stroke. So I might actually go a bit harder on that and just add a little stroke myself, uh, just like a little 1%. And we're going to take this into Illustrator, but for now, yeah, I think that's cool. That's quite a beautiful, that's a little piece of art almost. I don't think I want to touch it anymore. I think I'm very much happy with this. I think this can, yeah, let's send this, let's take this over to Illustrator, my new favorite program. And here we are in Illustrator. This is already looking so, so nice. Um, let's check a little blending mode because I got this nice like uh, off-white background kind of going on here, which I always use. And I think just like spices up every kind of design. If we go into opacity here, I can change the blending mode, something like uh, multiply, which will give us, of course, uh, that, that it'll blend in very nicely. Those colors will match up. And I think that's looking very, it's looking very silly right now, which I really do like. And that noise is so, so clean. I kind of want to see what ha will happen if we um, image trace this, actually. Um, ugh, okay. Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe there's something here. Let's do a high fidelity photo um, and absolutely destroy my computer in the process. Let's have a look here. Uh, uh, it should be pixelated, right? That's the... That's noise. Noise in Illustrator is so confusing. I still haven't figured that out yet as well. Just putting that... Very much putting that out there. I'm in the mood to design today. It's nice. I haven't designed in a little while. It's good. I'm getting back into um, just an unnecessary, uh, you know, content update, I guess. I, I feel like, you know, I made a TikTok today. It took me like, it took me like two minutes. I'm like, of course, that's that's how easy short form content is. You know, you can film a video. And I was like, it doesn't matter if you had hives at 3 a.m. and had like half an hour of sleep. You had a coffee this morning. You're good to go. I've got a really cool font that I want to find, um, that I want to try out, I think. Um, let me just remember the name, I think. So this is a font I'm absolutely obsessed with recently. Uh, it's called Boris uh, by a very cool type designer called Julia Boggio. Uh, and you should 100% check it out. It is completely open source as well, which is great. Uh, and it's just a very cool and quirky little font, you know? And I think the the characters like very, they, they I don't know, they're just so much fun. Uh, that I think they'll work really well for this design. Um, and I've used this in a few little assets for like my stream recently. And it's just like, it's very cool. It's very cool and underappreciated. So you should definitely check out this font. So this is how it looks already. And that already looks very, 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 very good. I, I'm very, it, I enjoy this font so much. Uh, we're going to turn into outlines, I think, just so we can kind of like, like I want to play around a little bit with it um, and just move them just move the the characters a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, not not make it necessarily too super straight. Like, just something like that a little bit. Uh, that kind of looks like a J there. We can we can we can figure this out later when we kind of chuck it in the actual uh, design, I guess. Um, what my main issue I'm having right now after having a little think is I can't really tell how I'm gonna like make it stand out, I guess, because it, it's 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 a little bit tricky because it's uh, just a two color design and I don't really know, can't decide on a color that'll make it really stand out. So we could do something like a nice bright orange potentially or something that could stand out a little. I mean, that kind of stands out. It, yeah, that kind of works. I don't usually, I like doing, um, giving it some sort of outline, I think, but I don't know if that's going to be necessary actually to kind of make it stand out too much. Yeah, see, that doesn't really feel, doesn't really feel too necessary. Um, I don't think. No. Okay, so I played around a little bit and I think I've settled on something uh, that I'm that I'm happy with at least text-wise. I think Onion Cat is definitely uh, the text that I kind of want to go with here. I think it's just so uh, very, very uh, accurate, I guess, the text to what the video was since the, it was a cat reacting to an onion, I guess. Um, and it kind of looks like the cat's looking at the onion cat, which is another little, kind of like a, 
it's kind of like a second meaning to the design actually um and when you when you look deeper into the into why we make these choices as, as graphic designers um line of sight is obviously a very important uh par part of the uh design process so uh, it's nice to see a little elements of like that showing up in this design and i hope to find more later this is looking good. Uh, the color, I think, still could do with a little bit of work. I don't know if I'm 100% settled on this shade of orange yet. Maybe something like... That's nice. I like that a lot. Maybe uh, the cat could be something different too. Uh, like, maybe the cat is like a nice kind of... Oh, this could be a cool color. Like, a little bit of a hot pink. That's cool. That's a cool combo that I don't really work with too much. That is quite nice. Um, and we could even change the color of the cats too, I think. I don't need... I don't know that necessarily needs to be... Uh, like black, I guess, um, as that accent color. I think uh, it could work. I'm going to keep playing around a little bit. I'm going to keep playing around. Um, let me experiment for a second, then I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm really happy with where this is at right now. Um, I've been getting more and more comfortable with like stretching designs all the way out to the very, very edge um, and leaving like the tiniest of borders. I'm usually like a big border kind of guy. Like in any other day, any other day, um, I would have probably like been... been happy with this, right? This kind of like extended border, but I really like it when we get it all the way out to the edge there. It's a printer's nightmare, right? Um, and you know, maybe I wouldn't have done this kind of design if I didn't have hives at 3 a.m. this morning, who knows? Maybe the lack of sleep is really pushing me on. Um, but I'm thinking maybe like just a, one more thing here, perhaps like a, like a little rectangle maybe, um, cause it's quite a simple design right now, which I don't mind. I am a, I'm a minimalist. Uh, I'm minimalist at heart. What can I say? Uh, um, but I'm thinking like maybe just a strip of color, like something like a blue color could be fun. Um, something just to kind of tie it all together. Like a color like that is really cool. And I think this is... Like, I think it's just quite cool right now. I think it's very cool. And I'm wondering if we add uh, a color to that side as well. Maybe like this one is like a green, potentially. Colors that Elliot never uses. Or we use the same as the the background potentially as well. Um, what if we did something like, uh, I don't know if that necessarily works over there. It could work like here maybe if we give it like a tiny bit of room and then just shrink that down a lot. Maybe something like that. I like that a lot. I don't know if these two are necessary, but I, 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 I say why not in a way. I think it looks good with them. I think it looks good without them. I'm kind of indifferent. Um, let's chuck something like, hmm, it's always tough settling on a color of green when I literally never use green in my design work because I just do not like the color, but it feels necessary here. We've got like a shade of red, a shade of yellow, a shade of blue. I think it makes sense with that. There we go. That looks cool. That looks very cool. I like that a lot. Yes. Now I think it's time we add a little bit of text, uh, just a tiny little bit of text, maybe down here, something like, uh, this is a funny TikTok or something. This is a funny TikTok. I enjoyed it a lot. You did too. Something like that could be fun. Change to a, a simple sans serif, something like uh, Noia Montreal, my favorite uh, sans serif by a mile. Uh, we can shrink that down a little bit, move that around maybe here. Change the size of the text. Uh, use my little cheeky keyboard shortcut, Alt uh, up on the arrow keys uh, to adjust the leading. Let's add a tiny little bit of a stroke here, just like a 0 0.25. Use my keyboard shortcuts with alt on the arrow keys to do uh, that a little bit. And I think this will look like a good addition. Okay, so I think this is definitely where I'm, I'm definitely like, yeah, this feels right. This feels very right. Um, I added a little, obviously, I made this design, chuck that on top. Then I did a cheeky little rule of threes and chucked another one on top of the very the very top. And I think that levels it out, uh, very much evens it out. We got like the big C, the big O at the top there, a very heavy top, only needed one little bit of, uh, of writing, I guess. And then the bottom kind of makes sense there. And I think we have a, a finished design. I'm very, very happy with this. I think the colors could do with like a little bit of fine tuning. I think I'm 100% happy with where that green is right now. But composition wise, composition wise, very, very happy. It is a very interesting design, I think, and a little bit of a little bit different to what I usually do, and I thought that was a lot of fun. Uh, so far, video <laughs> Elliot's video review so far, uh, reviewing the idea that I had for this video, uh, very good, very good. I think if you're looking for inspiration, 
design make designs based off like TikTok liked TikToks. Very fun idea. Can recommend. Here's the finished product. So our next TikTok is from uh account uh Lollipops Castle Hill, uh, which is the account for Lollipops Playland uh in Castle Hill, which is a city in New South Wales. Um, Lollipop's Playland, of course, uh, being a, a Playland. Let's give the video a watch. Uh, so I think that's quite a comical video. Uh, of course, uh, I, what I like about this video um, is that I used, I used to go to Lollipop's Playland a lot. So this has like the nostalgia uh, factor for me. Um, and also what I like is that Lollipop's the cat uh, is a... Pr is, has a primary color scheme, which is what I uh, use a lot in my designs. Also really into the hashtags they use, like hashtag X, Y, Z, 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 X, Y, A, X, B, Y, C, Z. Hashtag cat, hashtag uh, scary, hashtag, hashtag work. There's some real, real gems up there from the uh, the marketing team at Lollipops Castle Hill, um, so I think we can definitely make a design with uh, with uh, this this vibe. I think. So what I have here is the cat from the video. Uh, I've just screen grabbed it and and done a little uh, a little edits uh, to separate it from the background. The graphic design is ultimate tool. Uh, the select subject tool didn't work actually because uh, I guess this they couldn't tell this was the subject. Um, because it's not really a human. It, I, I don't think the AI is aware of, of Lollipops the cat, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, quite a quite a quite an interesting results. Um, and the text I'm thinking for this design is going to be something like, uh, "I don't remember the cat uh, looking like this." I think because I truly don't. I don't know if there just wasn't a mascot at my local Lollipops Playland. I don't know if I'd want to see a cat that looks like this at my local Lollipops Playland. Um, so that's kind of the the energy we're going with today. Uh, so obviously the edges of this are very uh, sharp, which I don't really like too much um, because I'd use the polygonal lasso tool, uh, which isn't the best tool, but it is what it is. Uh, and I'm gonna just do a little displacement map on it just to roughen it up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna go into filter, distort and displace. Uh, this is fine. Uh, and then we're just gonna go, I've got this little displacement one that I just made. It's just a, it's just a paper texture that I've got. Um, and there we go. There we go. We have a little bit more of a rough edge now, uh, which I think is nicer. So that's a good base, I think, to take us into uh, Illustrator with. Um, so let's chuck that uh, in here, please. Uh, <laughs> there we go. There we go. There's our little, <laughs> there's our little friend. Uh, and if we do, uh, I think image tracing this is what I want. Hello. There we go. That's what we were looking for, baby. Something real weird. Uh, so let's get rid of the white uh, going around there. And then we go, look at that. That's like an artist interpretation kind of thing going on. Very interesting. A great starting point for our design. Um, so I'm thinking just initial ideas off the top of the head. Uh, I'm just wondering if we like kind of... Hmm. Uh, let me think for, for a second. This is... Uh, let me think. Okay, so this is what's the uh, what's going on in my head when I look at this. Okay, so I got like some cool text going on. It like slightly overlaps with the leading. I think it's unique and fun. And then what I want to do as well is like change just certain words of the text uh, to like a sans serif, right? So if we do something like Garamond, like Apple Garamond italic or something, something like that, I think always looks good. Uh, but we might do maybe like editorial Neuer? new, editorial new. Maybe a little bit taller. That kind of looks cool. Um, let's go back to Garamond Italic. There we go. That's kind of what I'm looking for there. Something like this. And then kind of just make it feel a little bit, a little bit awkward. You know, I don't want it to feel super neat. I want it to feel a little bit weird. Okay, this is, it's very weird. It's very weird, but I don't really do much stuff like this and I want to give it a crack. I want to see it through to the end. Um, so it's coming together one way or another. Trust me. Uh, we've got Garamond up here. We've got Obviously by Ono Typeco. Mwah, beautiful font. Uh, and then we've got New Spirit down here on the bottom. Uh, if you're looking for all those all those names, remember them. Store them in that, in that brain of yours. Um, and now what I want to try is maybe like spacing them out across the design. Uh, so giving it a little bit of, let me just widen that text box a bit um, and just maybe 
bring it all together like this perhaps and see how it looks uh, if we kind of move things around a little bit. So let's just tab these here, tab that one there, space this one out a little bit, uh, and then maybe bring that one down into the middle, maybe? Oh, we can keep that probably on the left. I think that makes the most sense being on the left there. Um, but it looks, it looks, it's absurd. It's very, it's very weird and very wacky and very different to what I usually do. This might be a disaster. Like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna absolutely see it through here. I think that looks better. And what happens if we duplicate that and kind of just like keep it up there? What happens if we... That's cool. I like that actually. I like the double text. I like the double text and like cutting off the cat halfway up there. That's fun. That's definitely fun. And then... Yeah, okay. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. See? You just persevere and let's duplicate this cat a little bit, I guess. Maybe four times. Rule of fours, classic, classic rule of design. Um, maybe we can shrink them slowly as they kind of go along too. Ooh, like a little bit of a, oh, well, what could be cool actually? What could be cool is if we blend them. Yeah, let's try that. Let's take those two, object, blend, make. And then let's see if this gives us anything cool. Blend options, uh, specified steps, do something like 50. Pray this doesn't crash my computer. It didn't. That's, that's cool, I think. This is coming, it's coming together just as we planned. Let's uh, rotate that a little bit, shrink it down a little bit maybe as well. Uh, and then I kind of want to just like, warp that a little bit like scale it. I, I love how it's on an angle and I want to keep that um, so we're gonna try and like scale it a little bit I like the text a lot the text it's all it's very much growing on me very much very much growing on me and then finally let's just add my uh, my star for some reason I think the star could look good in the back here so let's uh let's chuck that in uh, shrink that down a little bit uh, and then send that to the back uh, and then change the color to something like that I think if we just oh, I think we need to we need to we need to image trace it first or something oh no ignore all this ignore all this I'll be back okay so now now we have our star uh, and then we can just use the eyedropper tool to, uh, to, to grab that color for example that nice shade um, which I think is quite cool I think that's quite cool. I think that works uh, pretty well. Maybe we enlarge it a little bit more. Uh, and then I think I think it's time to just, I think it might be time to, you know, just call it a day on this one. Um, I'm not, I'm not like upset with it. I don't think, I think, I think it is interesting. Maybe it'll look better mocked up. Uh, you'll know, I, we're just, I, I actually can't see what's, what the mockups will be right now. I haven't made them yet. But here they are, and I think, and, and I hope that they redeem this design in one way or another. I think it's cool and experimental, and if you don't like it, it's because you don't get it. Sorry. So our final TikTok of the day uh, is this one of Tom Holland uh, on The Graham Norton Show. Uh, and this is from Andrew Gayfeed on TikTok. Um, and this one I think is very funny. In enjoy. I'm glad I wore such tight trousers today. <laughs> How do you beat your chest with these things? Yeah, no, it's a tough one. So hang on. Gorilla is the arch. Oh, oh, that's very... Look at that, look at that! Oh, 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 look at him! I've got Spider-Man on. No, that's very Spider-Man. <laughs> and then what did you say chimpanzee was? It was... You've got to tuck, tuck in. <laughs> tuck in with your... Tuck in with your... Tuck in with your... There you go. Oh my God. No, do a wolf as a chimp. <laughs> I'm and it just it just stops halfway through the the um the howl, which I always thought was very funny. Um, I think this is a brilliant video. Uh, it reminds me a lot of uh, like performing in front of uh, like your family as a child. Um, it's there's a, there's a, there's there's a, a playfulness in this video that is just so hard to replicate. I think I don't know how anyone can get the confidence to do that on like a big stage. So shout out to Tom Holland, honestly. This and all in all seriousness, a, a a real testament to his to his confidence because wow, wow, that is a something else. Um, but I really like Mark Wahlberg's line of "Do do a wolf 
what is it do a wolf as a do a wolf as a chimp which i is is like why why are you say why, why what is that where did that come from and then but he he does end up as a chimp uh, howling <laughs> I'm also, the audience goes off at that line, which I don't. I don't really. Maybe it's this context to that. Uh, who knows? Um, but I think I would like to make do a wolf as a chimp as a design. Real, real curveball for the final one. Let's see how we go. Uh, but first, I'm actually. I've actually got tickets to uh, everything, everywhere, all at once. So I'm gonna go watch that movie first, uh, and then I then I'll come back and finish the design and the video. And I'll let you know how the movie was. I've heard really good. I've got like the ri ridiculously high expectations. So, uh, and I have a feeling they're gonna they're gonna meet them. So we'll see. See you soon. Hmm. That was very good. A lot to think about really makes this whole graphic design TikTok video seem a little bit minor, you know? But we push on. Maybe there's an alternate universe where um, I am, I'm, I'm the ape doing the ape impression on the Graham Norton show uh, and Tom Holland is the one graphic designing me. Maybe that's a, uh, maybe that's a, that's an alternative, uh, timeline. Just food for thought, I guess. So we have the image of him cut out here. Uh, it's, it's pretty rough. I'm going to be completely honest with you. It is, it is, it is, it is pretty rough. Um, but it's a pretty, uh, high quality screen grab. So I'm, I'm not too mad with it. I'm actually okay with it. I can see this kind of like peeking out of the bottom left to the bottom right of the design, I think. Uh, and of course, with those marky mark lines going across the top, I think should be a, a little bit of dialogue should be fun, you know? Uh, so I want to do some sort of effect with this, I think. I don't really know what yet. I kind of just want to give a, another crack at just like giving it a little bit of a noise, you know, and then going into cheeky old threshold. And then, you know, I mean, that looks pretty, that looks pretty good already. You know, like that's, I think that's as designy as it gets and and maybe we can add let's do let's just chuck everything that we've done today at this design okay i'm feeling like anything is possible right now yeah I've, I've, my, I'm, I'm a new man after that movie okay i want to be very clear i'm a completely new man um so let's do that and then let's add like a some sort of gradient map maybe maybe like a tricolor gradient map kind of thing maybe in like like a nice red perhaps uh and then like a nice like maybe a, a nice like get the accents going here with like a little bit of a like a dark blue maybe and then change this to like a cream perhaps maybe that kind of looks interesting and if we play around with this scale here does that do anything cool not really yeah maybe we'll just keep it black and white for this oh no actually what if this is let's change that to the navy and then maybe make this like a... Oh, like the orange is kind of cool. Like a nice bright orange kind of thing is pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, let's... Let's see where this... See where this takes us. All right. Okay, so here is our vectorized uh, Tom Holland. This has been image traced. So it's a little bit rough. It kind of looks a bit silly. The noise is turned into... um like almost like a impressionist watercolor piece which is uh let's call it deliberate um but i think the the i'm pretty happy with the colors so far i also like that all of these cards have had the same background i think that's a cool little touch uh, and i think it'll make them look really good together when we mock them all up at the same time um i'm thinking maybe uh it's got a nice kind of like landscape kind of style to it if we rotate it like this i think maybe that could look pretty funny if we put him on his side like that i think i think text is what we should worry about first so let's get a text box going so the dialogue we're working with here of course is do a wolf as a chimp um and i think we can do maybe diff maybe different letters uh or different different fonts perhaps for wolf and chimp something like uh, oddity could be quite fun perhaps we got a really nice w going on there i think that could look quite good if we just like tighten in the uh, the old kerning a little bit or tracking or you know whatever you want to say um i think wolf looks good like that like do a wolf and then maybe something else for chimp 
Uh, we're using a font called Wayfinder here for Chimp, I think. It gives it a nice little, uh, like, cool almost prestigious touch, which I think is nice. And I think these fonts contrast uh, really well with each other. So I think there's definitely potential here. Um, and a lot of the curves kind of line up as well. You know, they kind of like fit nicely into each other. And if we just get like a, like a simple um, sans serif, once again, like something like, of course, uh, my, my sweet boy, Noya Montreal, in a nice little medium weight, chuck that in all caps. Uh, we might be able to just like shrink that down and pretty easily kind of like get it reading well, you know, like do a wolf as a, um, and then kind of like either chuck that under here, for example, that kind of gets the vibe a little bit. Maybe, maybe if we do it like over there, that could look good. Let me just quickly find what's going to work best. Okay, so I think this works really nicely um, as, a, as a kind of like the type treatment of it all. I like the rotation a lot. Uh, it's not super important that the text is like, you know, reads super well. I don't really mind. I think it's just cool, like exploration of different type. And I think it, I think it just, yeah, turned out pretty nice, I think. I don't know. Maybe you disagree. Maybe there's a, oh, maybe there's a different universe where you think it's uh, the best thing you've ever seen in your life. Maybe it's a universe where I don't end up being a graphic designer and maybe I'm a, maybe I'm a big, maybe I'm Tom Holland once, once again, just to bring that up again. Not that it, not that it would be, not that I want, I, no, no, yeah, yeah, it's all good. So let's get this photo going on uh, somewhere in here. I think I think if we keep this like navy kind of color scheme going on uh, with the orange, I think that would look best. Um, I don't think this will look too bad if this is kind of like... I mean, we've got to get the full image going on here because the, the arms are what's so important. Um, so something like this, maybe if he's over here or something, potentially. Or if we check him on the left and then we get all of this... Uh, if we group all this text together get Tom on the left. Any Tom Holland fans out there? He's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. Wonder if he knows anything. I wonder if he'll see this video. <laughs> I wonder I wonder if this video will pop up on his uh, YouTube recommendations, you know. I think uh, you know, he's, he's he's human. He probably watches YouTube. Um he probably he's probably subscribed to me, you know. Probably just putting the, you know, probably. Hello Tom. How are you? Loved your work in Loved your work in uh, Spider-Man. Okay, so I've adjusted the text a little bit. I put the Dua up here, so it uh, a Dua Lipa maybe. Dua. Um, I put the Dua above here. Uh, I think that looks better and it makes it more legible as it was kind of hard to read when it was over Tom's blue suit. Uh, so this this helps a little bit more. Um, and then I think we can do something cool with 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 Tom still. So we're going to go into the effect menu. Uh, I'm going to give it a little bit of... I'm going to see what Ruffin might do. Uh, oh, hello. That actually looks quite... That looks quite interesting, I would say. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe not. That's, a, that's very intense on the eyes. Um, maybe a little bit less. Maybe... Okay, now it's getting a little bit computers i can hear the fans god um date probably turning the turning the detail up probably isn't a good idea um let's let's detail down size oh god i think this looks pretty sick personally what happens if we smooth it what does that do interesting i like that more i think i think that kind of looks cool and what if it's absolute i hate that <laughs> Relative it is. Um, okay, that's it's very interesting, but I think it might be... Uh, I think it definitely has potential for, the, for it later on. Um, I think that's ex an exciting design choice. Oh, it's going to kill me every time we move it. It is going to absolutely kill me. I think we're set in stone there. I don't think I want to touch that now. I think that's kind of like... <laughs> I think we're going to keep Tom there. I think that's... Um, I think that's okay. I don't think he'll mind. Um, the next thing I want to do maybe is get some more of that orange going. Uh, so if we get like maybe a rectangle and we kind of send it to the back uh, and then just fill it in with that color. Uh, if we just take a stab at it, it's probably like around there or so. Filled in with that color, that might look a little bit cool, which I think it does. Maybe just get it around the Azza there. Um, I think that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty sick, I think. I think. I'd say so. I'd say so. It's a nice little kind of 
This is a very interesting design. I don't know how I feel about the rough anymore. That was a very bold, <laughs> very, very bold move, especially, yeah, wow. Um, like I said, you know, when you when you watch a movie like that, you, you can't really, oh, we're getting real slow here. We're getting real, when you can't really expect, I don't know. What did you expect from me? Um, stop, you know, pucker and blood. Oh my God. <laughs> if this is the last footage you see before my computer crashes, then remember me for, for my funny videos and my, uh, and my humor and wit. I did not save this file. Please do not crash. If this crashes, I'm going to be completely honest. It's late. We are screen... I'm going to screenshot the footage. And then use that as the final design. And no one will know. <sighs> Whoa. Look how good this design looks. That looks so good. I love how spiky Tom Holland is. That is awesome. What a what a complete design. Here are our completed designs for today. What a collection that we have. And what a fun idea for a video, I think. I had a lot of fun doing this one. I think um, it was a definitely a unique take on what I usually do. Um, I do like this kind of style of just like uh, designing three kind of things in the one video based on some kind of random prompts. The Animal Crossing video was really fun. This one was cool too. It, it just encourages me to kind of like, you know, get that first idea and then just keep going. So I hope you enjoy that as well. I think this is a good, I, I had a lot of fun filming this. Um, I also really enjoyed the movie that I saw in, in between filming and I, it definitely didn't uh, change my perspective on design and my career forever. It's okay, it's okay. Great movie, definitely check it out if you like uh, feeling good. And and I cried a lot. I have, I feel, yeah, I cried a lot, yeah. That's right. I'm not afraid to show my emotions in the cinema when no one can see me. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed these uh, fun little designs. Uh, if you want to see more of this, then please do let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and feel free to, uh, I don't know, tag me on TikTok. If you think you find a, uh, a, a video worth designing, um, then tag me on TikTok and I will uh, I'll make sure to check them out, okay? Because I see those. I see those. I got those notifications turned on, so... Elliot is a cool guy is the name. It's in the bio. I'm really enjoying to... I'm blowing up over there. Because uh, I'm actually... Actually motivated to make TikTok. So it's it's fun. Um, so definitely check out my stuff over there. Uh, if you would like a design like that, like a business card for you, then you should come along to my Twitch streams and you can actually buy that for like uh, 25 bucks US minimum. And you can get it printed for 50. So... That's pretty cool. If you want a custom Elliot design, then you can do that. Um, and it's also just a lot of fun over there too. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, this was great fun. Uh, I hope you had fun too. Uh, and I will see you on the, the next video, whatever it may be. Uh, so have a lovely week. Have a lovely week. Uh, and I will... Uh, and, 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 and... Uh, have a good rest of your day. Because tomorrow... Okay, see you later, everyone.